What's up everybody, it's Darkstrat of the YouTube Assassin and a couple of days ago I decided to make a couple of builds while I'm doing the trophy cleanup and stuff like that in Assassin's Creed Odyssey and I actually posted what would you like to see as far as builds go and I gave you a list. So this one is actually going to be the first one uh, out of the list that most of you over like 67% of you uh, had voted on and it's the assassin build now the assassin that i have is going to be just it's going to have like a lot of different things some of these things you may not have i may update it as i find new uh items and you know new engravings and whatnot but i'm going to show you exactly what i did now for my assassin first of all i've got the uh pirate gear now you get the pirate gear from defeating these cultists uh I believe the Aegean Sea ones. Yeah, all these over here. Uh, each one of them will drop a piece of that armor uh, and the weapon and whatnot, and that's what you end up with. It's really decent gear for uh, what we need, which is complete assassination. So now, here we have its regular stats. The stat that I added was 25% crit damage, okay? The crit damage is going to be, like, really important because a lot of what we're doing is going to be straight up metal gear solid we're going to be sneaking up on our enemies and you know just really destroying them from behind so you're going to see a lot of damage done okay uh you know it also gives us the entire set plus 15 damage with assassin abilities and everything that we do it's just going to be like awesome uh when i start getting this going okay the gloves couldn't really find anything really good for them so I added the 5% uh, crit chance which you know that's kinda trash but at the same time that was probably the best item that I could put on here uh, for the waistband uh, plus 3% all damage as you can see it's not fully leveled up so at some point it'll probably be plus 5% but you know there really wasn't much that I could put on this however I put that damage there because it just helps out with the damage obviously and we're going to be doing a lot of damage uh, plus 25 percent crit damage for the body for the legs I decided to put uh, you know minus 40 percent adrenaline consumed by the shadow of Nick's ability uh, you know that's going to be something that you know will just really help us out because we don't want to lose a lot of adrenaline constantly all right now as far as the weapons go I decided to put the dagger of Kronos now it has uh, warrior damage and it has damage with daggers. I was really looking at the damage with the daggers. I was also looking at the 40% damage when attacking from behind, which was really good. Okay, just think about that. A lot of what we're doing is going to be sneaking up on people, attacking from behind. We wanted to throw that in there. All right. Uh, I also added the uh, you know the 100% damage but health cap to 25%. Uh, that I got off of. Uh, let me see the weapon that I got that off of. It's, I believe, uh, a sword that actually has that. Um, the, uh, the, uh, sword, uh, the sword that I got, it actually was from uh, one of those uh, like little side areas and stuff like that. I did a video showing how I got that, uh, and I'll show it right here, the, the Folks of Olympos. This actually had it. Once I got that, I was able to get that engraving. Uh, I'll give you a link in the description below to show where I got that item so that you can go and get it yourself. It's kind of like a level 42 item. But see, I put that here just because of that damage, okay? We're going for major damage so that we could just sneak really fast and just get in and out, all right? Now, if you are not confident enough to put this on there, that's fine. Look for anything that has anything to do with damage, okay? Because you're, you're going to want heavy damage as we're sneaking up on people again here's another one 40 percent damage when attacking from behind which is also really good uh obviously we got that from here so now i have two weapons that are giving me that um as far as the bow i went with paris's bow and i went for plus 25 percent headshot damage okay um i like the ghost arrows of artemis ability the plus 20 damage uh i'd like that it had the plus 15 percent assassin damage but you know if we're going to take a shot at anybody you have to aim for the head and this is going to help you out all right you you do need that headshot damage you need something critical so that you could just take your enemy out all right now though that was all the gear 
as far as the abilities go, uh, what I did primarily, what we want to do, we want to go with assassination first. Now, keep in mind, I have, I think about like 63, 64 points that I had. And, and you know, that was obviously from leveling up and finding steals, uh, the, the first civilization steals. So this is what I came up with, okay? First of all, we start down here, Shadow Assassin, okay? This is good for when you're sneaking up. We're, we're going to be doing a lot of damage, all right? You sneak up. Uh, as you can see, it's increased by 40%. Automatically loot the enemy after the assassination. Crit damage is increased by 50%, okay? That's great. We definitely needed that. Okay, then rush assassination. Uh, I have this maxed out. Basically, what's going to happen is I throw my dagger at one enemy like you see there, but you could chain it for up to four kills and it just happens instantly okay as soon as you stab one person that person dies goes down you can go to the next to the next to the next all right we're only going to use that in situations where we find just a small group of people that we can easily take out this isn't something that you want to just normally start out with and then have the entire camp or base or whatever attacking you all right another passive ability we've got here critical assassination okay you just like when you sneak up from behind, okay, you're going to hold down the uh, the triangle button a little bit longer, and it's going to do, like, this massive amount of damage. So that was, like, great. That's what we have. Uh, over here, I also had Hero Strike, okay? This, as you see in a lot of my videos, I like to use a lot. I like to just, you know, be able to, like, knock people down. Sometimes it does one hit. Sometimes, uh, you know, it, it saves my life when I'm being chased and stuff like that. So we definitely needed that. Uh, on top of that, I also put Vanish, okay? This is really good because you could use it. It'll give you 10 seconds to, like, disappear. Just go and hide, all right? Enemies will leave you alone. Um, instead of going and hiding, you could also attack them. You know, you could sneak up from behind them while they're blinded, and you could just give them the beatdown, all right? So that was useful. Uh, another one that we wanted to use that's passive, Stealth Master, Okay? You're silent as you're moving around, okay? It, enemies can't see you. It's great. It, it was very necessary. I preferred that over slow time. Um, you know, a, a slow time is great, but if you're doing really good with the dodging and stuff like that, you really don't need slow time because you're going to do that anyway, all right? And then, of course, we have Shadow of Nyx, all right? Uh, when you're out of conflict, you become as invisible as a shadow, okay? This is great. Uh, you know, this is one of those abilities that you they can't see you in order for you to use it. But then once you use it, you're able to like sneak up on them and stuff like that. You're invisible for a little bit. So that's another great ability. All right. On top of that, I also put uh, Revelation. Uh, the reason I use this is because I like to be able to, uh, you know, like find all the secrets and things like that. Sometimes you miss an enemy or two, a soldier, when you have Icaros flying overhead and looking. And you know it, when you use this it'll actually have all those enemies pop and it'll show you what their levels are and everything like that so that just in case you missed them you got them all right the next tree we have is warrior uh you know i like sparta kick it's really not necessary but i did use it in this build it's not really something that i'm going to use a lot but it is going to be something that i use for some sort of defense uh same thing with charged heavy tax this isn't something that i'm going to use a lot but if I have to do damage on somebody, you know, as you can see, damage is increased by 150%. Okay, that's great. Um, on top of that, you know, we went straight up the line here. Uh, weapons Master, gotta have Weapons Master because it increases damage. Okay, it increases the crit chance with all weapons by 10%, which is what we really needed. All right, second win is an absolute must. All right, first of all, it's going to clean you of any poison or it's going to put out any fire if you end up being in that situation. Okay, it also refills 50% of the max health, except for my build the way I have it, where I have the 100% uh, damage, but 25% health. So this is something that, you know, if we're really in a bind, we're going to be using, all right? But with any build, I always go with this. This is an absolute must, like I said. Uh, on top of that, gear master okay uh your gear your armor increases by 90 percent um you know it, as you can see it reduces range damage by 20 percent 
10% chance the attacking enemy will stagger. All right, that's all good. That's perfect for what our needs. Same thing with overpower attacks. If we really do need to like do anything like that, if we really do need to uh, get into like a powerful attack, we'll have this overpower attack. Uh, you know, it, again, we want to sneak up on them though. And then Battle Cry of Ares, uh, for 20 seconds, you're just a beast, okay? It does a lot of damage. And if we're really in a bind, we're really in a tight spot, this is what we're gonna need as well, all right? Um, then we go into the Hunter area and this, you really didn't need a lot in, but I still put it in anyway, okay? Uh, six cents, you know, you, you know, you're able to like, you know, aim really well. It's one of those things that you kind of need devastating shot I always go for just because you know it does a lot of damage if we're going to be aiming at somebody with a bow and you know we're going to be at a good distance because once again primarily the assassin is all about stealth we're going to be hiding a lot all right so if we have to use it devastating shot is the way to go I like arrow master because I like to be able to craft all the arrows that I have okay on top of that if you'll notice with uh, Arrow Master, you can also craft the uh, Death Arrows, which I like a lot. Okay, they, they move faster, penetrate deeper, and deal more damage. And that's going to be major. That's going to be something we really, really want if we're going to shoot an arrow. Okay, again, like I said, stealth all the way. Uh, on top of that, Archery Master, uh, you know, damage by 40% here we go overpower bow strike you might as well have the overpowers for the bow as well you know but that is what it is the major thing is the ghost arrows of artemis ghost arrows of artemis it'll go through like walls and stuff like that which is like really cool deals a lot of damage if we're gonna you know do something like that if we're gonna take a shot at somebody this is the way to do it uh you know but again like i have been saying we're gonna be stealthy all right so this is all the abilities if you really don't have the points for all these abilities, that's fine. Uh, you don't have to have uh, the Sparta Kick. You don't have to have Revelation. Okay, everything else that I've got in the Assassin Tree, I recommend. Um, you know, you could even just put one or two in each of these, but make sure that the, the top tier items, you always have three in because that's where you get the most damage and the most uh, power from, okay? Uh, you could even duck out on a lot of this stuff here from uh, the hunter tree if you're trying to you know like put everything into assassin or into uh, the warrior perks all right uh, also like I said with the inventory if you don't have anything like this if you don't have this gear find something comparable you want to look for something that has assassin damage on it things of that nature okay um, e even this if you found uh, uh, the, the crit damage that might work all right, that, that might be something helpful, you know, as you're going in and, you know, trying to do an assassin build. But, you know, for the most part, this is what we need. We need this pirate gear. So now I'm going to go around in this little camp and I'm going to show you, like, just what's going on. Hopefully I don't get caught. You just, you want to be completely sneaky. You want to sneak up on people. There we go, that was a lot of damage on that guy. I should have actually veered out so that we could see exactly how much damage it was. Let's go find us some other guys here. And if you're really in a pinch, you definitely want to use, uh, you definitely want to use that, that flash that, that we have here. Okay, somebody heard something, it sounds like. Let's take out that fire. That's the whole way that we're playing this. We, we have to just sneak up. You don't really want to be found. You don't really want to be seen. But you want to do as much damage as possible. All right, 
right, just for funsies, I'm going to do the, uh... There we go. And now if we really, we're really in trouble. There we go. And you can sneak up from behind if it'll let me do it. I guess not. Oh, I'll hide. Now again, you gotta keep in mind that you gotta keep yourself, you know, out of danger. Especially when we have something like this where we've got the, uh, we, we've got major damage that we could be taking. <laughs> There we go. And of course, the dagger damage does not hurt to have. Attack and run. Hide. They'll try to find you. Give myself a little break so that I uh, get my abilities back as well as uh, gain some health back. And then you could go right back into doing this. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> Use the uh, ability twice on the mercenary. That was just kind of fun. Look at that. So obviously, you know, we're, we're going to be taking a lot of damage when we're running around with this kind of build. And you really do have to be careful, you know. Um, as you can see, like, you know, they, they could... I'm, I'm very squishy. But even though I'm very squishy, like I said, the whole point of this build was to hide. Was to be able to hide. And as you saw, we're doing like some major damage, you know, we're, we're just, we're toying with these guys right now. We're running around and just, you know, taking them out, going to the next one. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what's happening. Basically running away. I have my defenses just in case, you know, I don't get, uh, I, I, I don't get, uh, uh, you know, like the, the hit or to hide and, uh, you know, that that's basically how we're playing it you know you do a lot of running you do a lot of hiding you're not really you're not really supposed to be you know confronting them like that but as you can see with the abilities that i have confronting them is is not that big of a deal and also as you can see i've made use of uh both my uh both my, my little uh, weapons things in the in the corner there. Oh, totally missed that guy. See, you can just do a lot of hiding. Wait for them to show up. Sneak up on them. And they really don't stand a chance. <laughs> Heal yourself if you need. Run, hide. Steal a bunch of stuff. That's always fun. And it's just funny because I'm just running around in circles, like all around this one little spot. They don't see me, they don't do nothing, they can't find me. Gives me time to like heal up, 
Now, one of the major problems is that I don't have a lot of adrenaline, as you can see, because I've been using it, killing everybody in sight. So uh, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to be like a little more careful with how I'm using my adrenaline. I may have to take out a, a regular guard or two, like a normal way. I may even have to like sneak up on them and, and kill them just so that I could get more adrenaline before I start acting up and, and doing all this nonsense like I've been doing. But anyway, that's how it goes. Uh, I'm going to be working on all the builds. I still have to do the, uh, the warrior build, the hunter build. Um, the hunter build is actually great. I've been able to get over 100,000 damage. I actually showed that on the picture when I did my survey the other day. Um, you know, there's just so many really cool things that you could do with these things. And, uh, you know, I plan on showing other builds. I plan on showing uh, a whole bunch of other things. So we'll see what goes on. We'll see uh, what I do next. And, you know, like, uh, uh, just let me know in the comments below. Let me know what did you think of this build. Do you think that this is pretty cool? Do you think that you could have done better? Is there any other gear that maybe would have gone better with this or even engravings that might have gone better with this? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. And as always, thank you for watching.